Hey everyone, welcome back to TechWise. Today, I'll show you how to fix the annoying something happened and your pin isn't available error on Windows 10 and 11. If you can't log in with your pin, stay with me and I'll walk you through step-by-step -step fixes that actually works. Let's jump right in. Now, why does this error appear? According to multiple sources, the problem may be due to a corrupted system files, a fault in your Windows Hello pin service, issues with your NGC folder, which stores the pin data, policy changes after updates, or even safe boot login service. Sometimes it's just a temporary glitch and restarting your PC fixes it. Let's click on the power icon from the bottom right corner and select restart. Give it a minute and try logging in again. Now, if that didn't work, click on the sign in options and let's select the key icon to use your Microsoft account password or local password instead of the PIN. If you got in this way, perfect. We can reset the PIN from inside Windows. To do that, right click on the Windows icon and select Settings. Go to Account, then Sign in Options. Under Windows Hello PIN, click on I forgot my pin and just follow the prompt to set up a new pin and that should refresh your pin data and get everything back to normal. But if you can't sign in at all, don't worry, we'll use the blue recovery screen next. Here's how to do that. From the login screen, hold the shift key on your keyboard and let's click on the power icon at the bottom right and select restart. Now keep holding the shift key until you see the blue screen. Now, for some reason, if that didn't work, just turn your PC on and off three times in a row. On the third boot, Windows will automatically load the same blue screen. Once you're there, let's click on Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options, then Command Prompt. Now, we're going to delete the NGC folder, which stores all your pin data. Now, if it gets corrupted, Windows can't recognize your pin, and you end up with this issue. So let's type this command, rd space forward slash s space forward slash q space c colon backslash windows backslash service profiles backslash local service backslash app data backslash local backslash Microsoft backslash ngc and press enter. I love this command in the video's descriptions below. And that should quietly delete the folder and all pin credentials. Now, if you see a permission denied message, don't panic. That just means certain system permissions are locked. And once deleted, restart your PC and log in with your password. And then you'll be asked to enter a new pin. So go ahead and enter a new pin. Confirm your pin and you should be all set. If deleting the NGC file didn't solve the issue, you might have a corrupted system files. While you're still on the blue screen, let's open the command prompt again and type this command. SFC space forward slash scan now and hit enter. This tool scans your Windows installation and replaces any broken files. It usually takes 5 to 10 minutes to complete, so just be patient. Once it's done, close Windows, restart your computer, and try logging in again. Now, if your computer is forcing you to use a PIN and ignoring your password, you can fix that with a registry command. Back in the command prompt, let's type the following command. You could pause the screen and type it exactly as I have it. And press enter. This disables Windows passwordless mode and lets you sign in using your password again. Restart your computer, 
and try login in again. Hopefully, you should now be able to access your desktop and be able to set up a new pin. Now, if nothing so far has worked for you, don't worry, you still have two reliable options on the same blue screen. The first one is System Restore. Let's go to Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options, then System Restore. You'll see a list of restore points. Now these are created automatically before a major update or driver installs. Choose a restore point from before the pin issue started. Click next, then finish. Windows will restart and restore your settings and system files to that date without touching your personal data. And once the process finishes, try signing in again. If you're able to log in, just go to the setting and set up your pin. Now, if there are no restore points or the issue keeps coming back, this is your final option, which is to reset your PC. From the blue screen, go to Troubleshoot, then reset this PC. You'll get two choices. Keep my files, this free install windows, but keeps your personal files, pictures, and documents. Remove everything, this does a complete wipe and reinstall windows from scratch. Choose keep my files first and just follow the on-screen instructions. Windows will reinstall itself and remove any corrupted settings, pin data, and services that caused the issue. And after the login, your PC will feel fresh and the pin login should work again. If this helped you out, hit the like button, subscribe to TechWise, and comment below which method worked for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.